Before I start painting, I want to save my work. To save my work, I tap on the leftmost button and choose Gallery. So it will prompt me to save my current sketch or discard, so I'll save it. The work is saved to the App Gallery. Over here, I can rename the artwork. I can share it, delete it, duplicate it. Duplicating it is a way of making a backup. I will rename this copy. To get back to my artwork, I tap on the artwork itself. I will now paint this art piece. I will start a new layer by clicking on the plus sign and I will tap and hold and drag it down to the bottom. And I want my paint layer to be below all the outlines I've drawn. Painting is about selecting the brush and then selecting a colour and painting on the correct layer. So I'll choose a brush called Colour Builder. Next, I'll choose green from the color palette. And I'll just paint in the colors in a single stroke. The nice thing about digital art is that you can change the order of the layers and you get different visual effects. By shifting the paint layer above the outline layer, I've effectively coloured my outlines. You may or may not get the same effect depending on the opacity setting of your brush. Next, I will paint in the sky and I'll create a new layer for the sky colour. I'll move this layer below the green layer. I'll select blue. For this particular brush setting, I've used an opacity setting of about 35%. This gives me an effect like watercolors where I can layer colors over the previous one. So I'm going to use an eraser now. So instead of applying colors, I'm going to remove colors. Use a soft eraser, set it to the larger size and with about half opacity setting. And I'll start removing areas of the sky. Because it's at 50% opacity, I'm removing about 50% of the colors with each pass. By removing colors, it gives a softer edge to the paint layers that I've done earlier. Next, I'll attempt to create some clouds in the sky. I'll paint in white clouds rather than remove colors. I will choose the brush and I'll choose white from the color menu. I'll create a new layer for that. So I'm going back to the brush setting to change the size. Okay, and I can also change other settings like flow and wetness. Different brushes have different setting options. 